If you are fortunate enough to have somebody or a group of people that you have a contact improvisation lab with, where you meet regularly to bring your questions, there are two words that I really like. One is the word generosity. Um, if everybody brings a generosity of spirit, a generosity of listening, a generosity with their knowledge, it can really help the lab process. The other word is humility, because if we are really entering into new material, really entering into questions, we need to admit to ourselves we don't know, and there's some humility needed there. It is up to the most talkative people to make sure that the quieter people get heard and get to make their contribution. Uh, if you are looking for a lab question, you might show up with one, but if you're looking for one, it's really good to start with dancing. Um, and dancing is also, of course, great to warm up because very important in labs is to be warmed up for the question you are working on. Um, actually, to be warmed up for any eventuality because who knows where the lab is going to take you. Give your lab a title. If you can agree on a title, it can be really focus making. So you might say, ooh, let's call it the mechanics of little lifts or the exhilaration of falling into the backspace. Um, create a title to help focus the work. There will be some people who already know something about the question. Let them empty their cup. Let them show what they know so that everybody can move on together into that place of inquiry. To create a balance, you want to balance three things, talking, your movement research, and dancing. It's like each of those is important. And last little point is that there's a tension in labs. There's a tension in being in a question. And it's important to not jump on the first thing that comes along just to relieve the tension, but to stay in it for a while, because it might be the fifth or sixth thing that comes along that's really the surprise discovery that comes along. So keep labbing, and maybe I'll see you one day in one. Bye-bye.